Sometimes you'll see an NMR spectrum which has phasing problems after it's been automatically processed by an NMR spectrometer. This can happen for a number of reasons. The primary reason I've seen it happen is because there may be a baseline problem in the spectrum, of maybe a background in the probe that's giving a very broad line. So when the data is processed automatically, there's a line broadening function um, applied with the EM command. It's Fourier transformed with the FT command. And then it's automatically base phase corrected with the APK command. And you can see in this case it doesn't do a very good job phasing the NMR spectrum. This line is in phase, this one is not. These are in these lines are in anti-phase with one another. So the automatic phasing routine doesn't always work. So how do you go about phasing the spectrum manually? Well, you go into the phasing icon up here. And you should probably move the spectrum to the middle of the screen so that the baseline is in the middle of the screen because really what we want to look at is the baseline of the spectrum. And you want to scale the spectrum up to the point where you're looking at a blown up view of the spectrum so that we can take a very really close look at the baseline. When you enter the phasing routine, there's a red cursor that positions itself on the largest peak in the NMR spectrum. You can phase this to zero order by clicking the left button and holding it on the zero up here, dragging the mouse up and down until that line is in phase. So we're only looking only at the line on which the cursor is positioned. To phase the other lines in the NMR spectrum, you go to the first order phasing icon, and you click the left button and hold it down, and drag the mouse until those lines are in phase. Now you can see that the, uh, the lines to lower frequency are now in phase in the NMR spectrum and we have a very broad feature in the spectrum over here which is the background of the NMR probe which was in fact causing the uh, phasing errors in the first place. You can touch up the first order phasing, make everything in phase, click on save and return. Now the NMR spectrum is in phase but we have this broad feature of the background. You can get rid of this broad feature in the background by correcting the baseline in the spectrum in, in many cases, and in this case in particular, by typing the ABS command. And that will correct the baseline of the spectrum. We can now scale the spectrum down and move it down to the bottom. And we see now that we have an NMR spectrum that's in phase.